What's up everyone, it's Trinidad in this video for you. I have my Dark Lord deck profile. Uh, this is the deck that put in plays. Um, I'm probably going to switch it back to the Academy style that we play on the channel sometimes. Uh, this one was just kind of put together for fun, just so she can play it again, <laughs> like for the channel uh, in a regular duel. Um, man, this deck needs like a second engine, more hand traps, or a combination of both really to get going. Because right now, I don't think it's like the best um, in terms of uh, viability. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's super fun. I love the theme of it, the way that it looks, the, the card designs, and obviously Puddin does as well. So that's how we, she has this deck. Yeah, Dark Lord, Morning Star. Cannot be special summon. If this card is tribute summon, you can do special summon. Dark Lord monsters from your hand and or deck up to the number of effect monsters your opponent controls. Uh, so the whole sp cannot be special summon. That part kind of hurts, but eh. Um, while you control another Dark Lord monster, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, and once per turn, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of Dark Lord monsters on the field, and if you do, gain life points equal to each Dark Lord card sent by to the graveyard by this effect. So even like the spells and traps, uh, you'll gain some life points if he gets out. But usually we, he's fodder from the hand, or if he gets into the graveyard, we have ways to try to fuse into the first Dark Lord. So that's, you know, definitely he's needed for that. Um, three ick shells. The she's like the gas for the deck, turboing out. Um, you discard her and another Dark Lord card um, to draw two cards. So yeah, and then the quick effect. She has to pay one thousand my points, then target a Dark Lord um, card or spell or trap card in your graveyard, and apply that effect as this effect. And you shuffle that card back into the deck, and you can only do this once per turn. Uh, and you can only special summon one Ick Shell per turn. So she's like put in his favorite card in this deck. It's just, you know, the design and everything, whatnot. It's just, it's always been really nice. Tezzy, Dark Lord, Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca, um, Tetsla Kapoka. I don't know. If a Dark Lord monster you would uh, control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can discard this card instead. And then the whole, during either player's turn, you know, the, the Dark Lord thing where you can uh, shuffle back a Spell or Trap card and copy the effect, basically. A lot of them have that, so I'm just going to shortcut it and say it's the Dark Lord effect. Uh, we have Superbia right here, Dark Lord Superbia, also one of the main like parts of the deck that hopefully you get to use with Ixchel because you want to discard this card or get this to the graveyard because when it's special summoned from the graveyard, you can... Um, Target one other one fairy type monster other than uh, Superbia and special summon it. Um, I'm tripping because for some reason I thought like it had to be defense mode, but I think the spell card is what brings it out in defense mode. One Zerato blow up the board, but also he can come out on his own if there, you have four or more dark monsters with different names in the graveyard. Uh, you can tribute it by tributing just one dark monster. Uh, it's, uh, like, probably maybe Greffer and stuff, like Dark Greffer and things might help out in this deck, but uh, we're not playing it. Dark Lord Nur Nurgle uh, gives all the fairy monsters piercing and then has the uh, Dark Lord effect. Nasht, Nasten, Dark Lord Nasten. Uh, discard two other Dark Lord cards, and then you can special summon this card from your hand, and then has the Dark Lord effect, the quick effect. I forget that, like, only, they can only be special summoned once per turn. That's another thing about them. Amdusk. Um, you can discard this card and one Dark Lord card, then target one Dark Lord card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Uh, and then, yeah, it has the Dark Lord effect. So, yeah. It's just, he's all right. He can help you get, like, Ick Shells if necessary to, like, keep, you know, milling. I think her effect, you can only do once per turn anyways, but, like, on a later turn, if you have, like, stuff in your hand you don't need, then, yeah, you can get her back. Um, Indulge Dark Lord, or I think also any card, right? Target one. Yeah, you can get the Spell or Trap cards. Just making sure. Uh, Indulge Dark Lord, this has like a really crazy effect. Um, but basically when it's normal or special summon, you can take two Dark Lords uh, from your hand or deck with different levels, except for this card, and special summon one of them to your opponent's field in defense position and add the other to your hand. So you don't really care about defense position because, you know, you got Nurgle here that's just going to pierce through it. Uh, if you get him out to the field. 
Um, and then you can't activate monster effects for this turn, except fairy monsters. So you can only do that once per turn. Um, so yeah. Basically, we give him this. <laughs> Capricious Dark Lord. Um, during the main phase quick effect, you can activate this effect. Tribute summon one fairy monster face up. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can make all monsters your opponent currently controls lose 500 attack points for each fairy monster on the field. And you can always do that once per turn. This is like not necessary to play in our own combos. Uh, but it's just another Dark Lord name, and it's just, yeah, we just give them that. It has to be in defense mode, so they'll have a 16. Um, but yeah. Then we have Dark Lord Ukubek. That one's normal or special summon. We can just, like, Foolish Burial any Dark Lord card from the deck to the graveyard. Uh, and yeah, you can only use the effect of it once per turn. Probably best to, like, bump up this to two, and probably take this one out, but, you know, Dark Honest. No one ever sees it coming. Dark Honest is here just for the theming of it all. Playing one Hecatrice, Hecatrice, however you guys want to say it. Search for the Valhalla. And one Archlord Christia. Back in the day, this deck was also like a Christia Turbo in a sense, where we would try to like like use Ixchel, search it, draw, do all that stuff. But I feel like with Infinite Imperm and just other stuff to negate or whatever, like Christia is not as strong. So this is just more of like a backup plan, like... If we get all this going and they're able to break the board and use up resources, well, Christian can just be like, yeah, <laughs> late game. Especially if you do have the four fairies in the grave. Because thankfully they don't have to be light, I believe. They can just be four fairies. Um, then we got Ash Blossoms. Obviously need it to stop things. Probably should be playing Valors and all that other stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm just not doing that. We got three of the Banishment of Dark Lords. This is the Searcher, the Rota for the deck. And although you can only activate one of this per turn, um, if you're able to get one of the Dark Lords that have the Dark Lord effects out, then you can copy it. So it it's not like activating this card. It's just activating their effect, copying that card, basically. So that's a cool little, little like, shortcut. Then there's the Dark Lord Contract, and this is the one that special summons them um, from the graveyard, but in just defense mode. So obviously the best card you want to bring out is Superbia, and then Superbia can special summon something else. Hopefully like Nurgle, so then you can just start like piercing through stuff. So yeah. Three Allure of Darkness. Uh, like I said, we're just trying to turbo through our deck, so sometimes we don't need stuff like, especially if we just draw into like the Capricious or the extra Dark um, Indulged. Um, we can just, yeah, draw two and just banish those. Um, two Valhalla. Really thinking about just cutting this down to one, but like I said, we're, I'm going to change this anyways to the Academy style. So two, we draw into one, that's fine. We don't draw into anyone, but we draw into Hecatry. So it's kind of having like three copies almost. Um, help us get a free big body on board as long as we don't, uh, as long as our opponents control something. Or no, we don't even, they don't even have to control something, I forgot. Yeah, we just can't control any monsters. We can just special summon any, we can special summon any fairy. Grady pol polymerization. If you are able to get this off and with the Dark Lord, Morningstar, and you know two others, um, that might be a wrap. That just might be unless, unless they got kaiju's or something, right? But that monster can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, I don't think the first Dark Lord can even be destroyed by battle or something like that. I can't remember. I gotta double check. But um, yeah, and then just gives piercing. It's pretty strong. One Forbidden Droplet, just because, in a sense, it is a Dark Lord card. Then Dark Rebellion. This is the one that sends a Dark Lord monster from your hand or face up from the field to destroy one card. Dark Lord Enchantment. to take. Um, you send a Dark Lord monster from your hand or face up on the field to take control of a face up monster. And then I believe when you copy their effects, you don't have to pay the cost. You just copy the effects so you don't need to send anything. You just... You know, destroy something or take something. The Sanctified Dark Lord, which is we send a Dark Lord monster from the hand or face up on the field, negate the effects of effect monster, and then we gain life equal to the... And if you do gain life equal to its attack, and I believe it's the monster that's chosen. Dark Lord Uprising, probably like the worst one out of all this. This can obviously easily be changed out. But this one helps you send one Dark One monster from your hand or face up to the field. Fusion summon one Dark Fusion um, monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. Then gain life points equals the original attack of the monster sent. 
by this card. So it's kind of a way to use Morningstar. But I think Greater Promisation just works better. But eh, it's just there. It is a Dark Lord card, so you can still send it off with Ixcha if it gets like cloggy in the hand. Draw two. And then lastly, Necrofusion. I think this one is the better. Like if we get off like Greater Polymerization and then Necrofusion, uh, I think that's a really cool little synergy because it just goes to the graveyard anyways. And then if you want to fill up the graveyard. But yeah, you just special summon one Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing Fusion Materials listed uh, from your graveyard face down. It just can't attack this turn. So you do it like on your opponent's turn and whatnot. And because you're doing that on your t opponent's turn, like it works well with the first Dark Lord. Uh, which I guess I'll just bring out right now. First, Dark Lord. We, we have three. Honestly, you can't even bring out all three. Um, like, I mean, I guess you could technically. We do have three way, three fusion ways to do it. Um, but yeah, the destruction effect, we can probably get like a max, only a max of two because it needs a uh, morning start to do so. So yeah, just right there. Focus on that. Three Dark Fairy Monsters. Your opponent cannot target Fairy Monsters you control with card effects, and you can only use one of the following effects of First Dark Lord once per turn and only on that turn. If this card is Fusion Summoned, using Dark Lord Morningstar material, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. And I believe because um, if this card is Fusion Summoned, like I believe that's when it gets brought out. You can let me know down below if I'm wrong. Like if we Necrofusion or Dark Lord Uprising and we use... Dark Lord Morningstar as a material, I believe once it comes out, it just like pops the, you know, the field. And then during the main phase, quick effect, you can pay 1,000 life points, especially on one fairy type monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. So second one isn't that crazy, but yeah, just help recur stuff. So we're playing three. Let me put it up here. And then one of the condemned Dark Lord She's, she has a whole crazy storyline going on. But yeah, she's the one that's on uh, Droplet. Uh, she just takes two fairy monsters and you contribute some in fairy monsters that require two tributes by banishing two monsters from your graveyard instead of tributing it. And it's still considered a tribute summon, so that's pretty cool. You can discard one card, take one Dark Lord monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. You can only do that once per turn and once per turn during your end phase, gain 500 life points for each fairy monster on the field. So this is already fair, so you'll gain 500. And if you somehow swarm the board or get things out, like especially ditching things and getting to contact and bringing stuff out, yeah, <laughs> you can gain a little extra life points because we do be paying a lot here. Then everything else here is just generic stuff you don't really care about. Um, almost never ever use or see, but we got IP Mascarena, Dark Unicorn, Avermax, and then Dingirsu, Hope Harbinger, Galaxy Eyes, um, Tachyon, Galaxy Eyes, Prime Photon, Full Armor, Zombie Stein, and Zeus. So, extra deck. This part doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. And that's why, if you want to like mix and match stuff like the best, like mill cards and ditch cards, and get in a secondary engine, or use this as your engine and then have your win con be something else, definitely, definitely, I suggest that. But yeah, that's just to show off this deck before I change it back uh, to the other version. Uh, that's more for fun and whatnot uh, for her, like, character duel. All right, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Sorry for over-explaining all this, but thank you again. And obviously, click that link down below, like this video, whatever. Thanks. Peace.